we are going to continue with our third of the uh, mini SQL basics lesson we're going to cover today views and stored procedures uh, we can think of view as a partial of a whole like if you look at it in one direction you only see that view you don't see what's behind you or on the right of you or you know the left of you so we initially have uh, this customer table and this table has five columns but if we want to hide a few columns from the users like let's just say we wanted to show full name state city then you could just manually type it and you know, uh, execute this query so why do we need to create um, views if we never want users to see the customer tables or to mess around with its uh, columns and we want to give them this table but with limited data I uh, would create a view make sure you don't put a database name uh, it doesn't like it it's not accepted create view name of the view put it as that's it and it's done execute it and it's done and call it customer underscore public so we'll run it how exactly like a table select star from customer public just like select star from customer so it is treated like a table so customer doesn't know people will not know that uh, if it's a view or a table unless they are told so we could run it side by side you'll see the original customer table has five columns and the ones below it has three the view has three columns so we'll go back to the next one altering view how if we you know altering view is basically editing the view modifying the view We're simply going to replace the create with alter if we run it uh, it should be okay and it is okay so it just ran the same thing again right now let's edit the city uh, comment out the city and add phone if we execute that it will work now see that customer public doesn't have city it now has phone so that's uh, altering of a view it's just mod modification of a view we just added a uh, column and removed an existing one next topic is stored procedures this may seem initially very difficult and scary to some uh, beginner coders but uh, do not be alarmed it is very simple the basic concepts of it we have a set of an existing query if we run this hundred times it will produce the same data so why run it hundred times which you know we have three lines here we could have like hundred lines of code to save all that space we have a single line of code we just put create procedure as begin in front of that or on top of that existing um, set of codes that do not change or usually do not change we give it a name if we put a database name it doesn't like it make sure you do not put database name as a qualifier prefix we get rid of that try to run it parse it something's missing we have to put end uh, that's just the syntax of a stored procedure we'll parse it it'll work execute done that's it now instead of that three lines of code if we go to our programmability see our stored procedure once we refresh it uh, and there we have our stored prop customer underscore ca so if we run this how would we run it we'll simply write execute the name of the procedure and you know, highlight it or run it it'll work i'll just run that three lines of code customer or users never see the code could put exec i'll do the exact same thing or better yet for the laziest developers don't put anything at all it will still work what if you were to put select star just like a table what would happen nothing this is not a table this is not a view so make sure you have to always put exec you know it's easy to read and the last topic is altering how what would you know how would we uh, edit or modify an existing store procedure very similar to uh, altering an existing view like on top I showed so we'll copy that code simply replace or create with alter and uh, if we want to instead of getting every single columns for customer tables we want to want to get like let's say a few columns uh, full name state city phone 
whatever so we'll edit as needed get rid of phone at city and now we'll highlight our code execute it something missing the from or near the from city there's a comma so it's a good thing about SQL is all the errors if you double click on the errors it shows you or it takes you next to the place of that error so you can find it easily and it will execute it again it works so now if we run it we'll see that three columns that are showing up phones phone is gone and this is the end of the lesson thanks for watching